And it's a corset built in. Can I tell y'all something? Yes, the affair ball. Y'all stop commenting. Stop even worrying about the people that come in here and try to be trolls and try to be haters and stuff. Y'all stop focusing in on them. Take them bitches your mind. It's not about having money or anything. You don't have to have money to pay people. Stop investing your time into those people. They're not going to make you happy. They're not, they not doing anything. Leave them alone. Pay them out. Pay them people. Pay them dust. That's what they want. They want fucking attention. Don't give it to them. Better yet, let's focus on things that's more beautiful in life. Clothes. Not the ugly people. <laughs> Bitch. Clothes don't talk back. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, this is the piece from um this is the piece from the first um affair ball. This has come with the McQueen look. I mean excuse me, the, the Tom Ford look. See? It's a whole top. And it goes through the jacket because the jacket is cut out in the back. It goes out the back of the jacket perfectly. And that drapes down. Thank y'all so much for the gifts. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh my God. What is this? I need to put this in a bag. Put this back here. Isn't it crazy how I never wear some of this stuff ever again? Yes, they are. And that's why some stuff I keep and some stuff I get rid of. Oh my God. It just dropped all of me. I mean, some stuff I would um, resell. And some stuff I would... Um, some stuff I would keep. For sentimental reason, or it's just so beautiful that I can't get rid of it. I want to look at it forever. Can you explain the memories behind the lose first pair, etc.? Um. Uh, 
Oh, that for the stockings. Oh, that's why they separated. Ugh. Um, I just got these. These are brand new, never worn. Aren't they beautiful? Very beautiful. These are my favorite of all favorites. I wore these on Legendary. And Law, y'all didn't hear, but Law had made a comment. Oh my God, I got to tell them I lost the crystal. I got to take it to my cobbler. They'll put another one on there. Um, I'm surprised they didn't catch that. I'm going to tell them because I paid for them to redo this at the Legendary. I had to put a new sole on it. And I had to do that because the sole was coming off at Legendary. And them sucker pluckers want to try to glue my shoe. And they was just so sloppy and messy at times. Um, so I had to go take it to my cobbler. Um, but these are my favorite shoes. Oh, I cushion the baton. These, this is beautiful. This is just the work of art. So I wore these during the performance. And this is when I kicked Jupiter shoe with this shoe. Stupid of me, right? I kicked it. And I was moving around in this. And Law said... I know that I know this shoe very well. That shoe is painful. All my clients that have worn it has been painful for them. For you to come out on the stage and move the way you move in these shoes and that Louboutin, I commend you. Um, and even kicking that shoe with that shoe on. <laughs> so all my shoes, all the shoes you saw, it was mine. That's how you can be a diva. So I love those. I got a little scan. This is real scan. Real scan. I love these. These are so comfortable. And all my shoes have soles on the bottom. All my babies are taken very good care of. Um, voila. Her Royal Highness. Where he signed it. You see the shoes? Yes. I will never wear these. Number one, because the heel too low. Number two, um, the heel too low. Number three, the heel too low. <laughs> Oh, these are another one of my favorite pairs. Oh my God. This is mink. This is pony hair. Fabulous. Fabulous. And these are another pair of my favorites. I love these. Oh my God. I love those. I am a lady. Uh uh. These are my favorite. I love these. These are Jimmy Choo. Ain't these beautiful? And Diego bought me these. Diego bought me these. He used to buy mommy stuff, get mama stuff all the time. He don't get me nothing no more. He got, he got, I'm gonna fire him. We gotta start showing some mother some love. Or oh, he gonna get canceled. And these are my favorite pair. Oh my God. Isn't, oh, between these two, oh, these are the icon collection. Oh God, they everything. They strap up the leg. Oh, this is so sexy. I wore these to the Beyonce, con oh, y'all want a story? I wore these to the Beyonce concert. 
and why I got up in the chair. When I got up on the chair to try to go off like, ah, in these heels, why? I didn't know that the chair folds back. <laughs> Y'all, if somebody could have played slow motion, I would have been on Wendy Williams, um, the uh, fall of shame, because bitch, when I tell you, I went back like this. <laughs> Thank God Beyonce was on stage and I'm like, baby, no attention. <laughs> I won't embarrass. When I fall, I just laugh it off because it's giving whatever. <laughs> Take shit serious. Bitch, I'm fall. I'm a motherfucker. Be fabulous faller. And then Mary Jane from Mary Jane on Loving Hip Hop and Brandon and Ayana, all of us went to the concert together. And y'all, they had me the first time and the only time they had me go to the concert on the train on Modern. Bitch in heels. Are y'all stupid? My feet was hurting. 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 Never do that again. I don't like no public transportation unless I'm in Europe. Know that. Oh, come on now, Nene. Nene, Nene. Oh my God. These are my favorite. These are Tom Ford. Y'all, Tom Ford, I'm so sick of Tom Ford shoes. Tom Ford is. Uh uh, what happened? No, where is it at, y'all? Oh, here you go. I'm sick of Tom Ford. I'm sick of Tom Ford shoes. Tom Ford is lazy, and y'all don't understand. I'm sick of that same bullshit that he keeps motherfucking doing. Where the shoes at, Tom? This is the last fucking sickening shoe Tom Ford has made. Except I like that T and um, F crystal flat that he had. And I should have got it. Um, but heel-wise, this is the best fucking shoe he has made since then. Why is this out? Oh, no. This came loose. The knot. Mm, mm. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh. I wore these shoes, what I was telling y'all about. I wore these on Married to Medicine. These are shoes I got in uh, Houston, Texas years ago. Look how pristine these are. Over like 14 years ago, 13, 14 years ago, um, I got these shoes like a hundred and some dollars, 150, I think, hundred some cheap ass number on sale. Amazing. Amazing. It's a, I wear 40. So you had to wear outfit, everything, your jewelry, everything, bags, shoes, everything had to be under $500. Ball before you crawl, cheap and frugal. Um, and everything was under 500 and i had receipts Ugh. oh my god oh my god oh my god i forgot about these I had to have them. I used to, when I say if I get something and I think I like it, but then I don't like it at the end of the day, I'll get rid of them. Um, and the only reason I can get rid of these because they black and they comfortable. But y'all, I've never worn them. So many shoes in this closet, I've never worn. A lot of them. Um, because they always going to work with a perfect shoe. And then the good part about it is none of my shoes, no other bitch will have it on because y'all bitches are too busy running around here getting them hot ass jacked up ass shoes that ain't worth it trying to look like each other and i don't want to look like none of y'all hoes mm. so 
These are brand new. Sickening. Sickening. Classic. What are your thoughts on the Mugler? I like the I like the shoe. I hate the heel. The heel isn't high enough, so I would never invest in it. You see what type of heel I like. This is the type of heel I like. If you don't get this heel, you don't get my attention. You remember seeing me on TV? On what TV? On what TV? Oh my God. These were, these were back, 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 back in the day. I bought these at Neiman Marcus here in Atlanta, Georgia. Back in 2000. These are Michael Kors Runway. I had them refurbished and I had put a new sole on it and I have not worn them. I don't even know why I spent the money to refurbish them, but hey. They still are a sickening couture piece of shit. Michael Kors Runway. You want them to put out that boot that Dominique wore to the fall winter 2000 show in a thigh high. Who is Dominique? Where is your first pair? Um, I no longer have my first pair of heels. They're gone. Nor do I have my Giuseppe. I got the boxes, but I don't have the shoe itself. But these are this and the these are my oldest two shoes in my closet. These are the old so this I got these at the same time. Name of Marcus, um, two thousand collection. This is Giuseppe. These are the oldest two shoes, and this was the most expensive shoe at the time. So you see it had jewels and stuff on. This is the most expensive shoe. This is like almost a thousand bucks. Um, I don't know nothing about them people, sweetie. Uh, it's nothing that they look, they do that I look for. Oh. It's nothing that they do I look for. It's nothing inspiring. I don't check for them. Hi. Hey, Ma, look, don't say nothing. Just just feed off of what I'm saying. Turn around behind you and look at that thing that's sitting in that box. Right there. I need it. I know you need it. So how we go? I'm going to need to call you because I need your help with what I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah so be ready for me. Let me see. Is that is that it? Do you need the gown too? No, you know we gotta recreate it. Do you need the fur? Yeah, I do need the fur though. They want me to they that that's the one they wanted me to do. But I was like, I can't turn it into no butch queen look, honey. No, you can't. That just looks trifling. So why don't you just sell it? Because you ain't going to ever wear it again. Sell what? That. Why would I sell my looks? So you do not understand. When I'm long and gone, I want a... I'm getting ready to do a retrospect of my looks at this place. But I want it in a museum. I am museum worthy. I need to keep all my stuff archived so that y'all bitches can see me years to come. Hoarder. Look at that. And you know, first of all, when until you start making stuff, then you will never understand the love. What you made that? Yes, I fucking made this. Bitch, I didn't know you made it. Trying to put all these stones on this shit too. Bitch, are you crazy? I'm not getting rid of nothing that I made. So why wait. y'all think? Why y'all think I'm so pissed off and motherfucking adamant about Legendary sending me my gown back and stop playing with me, or they're gonna pay me my twenty thousand dollars because it took me three fucking months to make that shit. Wait, so my remember, remember when you um when you walked the Mugler ball for the five thousand? I walked past the car and was in tears when I seen you. You remember? You were like, "Shut up!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the girls weren't ready. <laughs> I was in tears. I was like, "Girl, she looks so good." They don't. They don't be ready. 
Now, this is why I can show y'all the example how I had I told them at Legendary why everybody keep complaining why Shannon she was duck walking in a gown and I was trying to hold the gown up. I specifically told them what type of material to use. Do y'all see this stiff netting? You see the stiff tool? It has to be stiff. And this is softer. This is softer. So they make they this mine was a okay, y'all know. So when I'm I can duck down and look. I can duck down in this. You about to put that on. Yes. Bitch. You love playing dress up. I do. I'm a queen. Look, the y'all, this is the over part. Watch it. Catch it. Catch it. Look. The gown is so stiff, it can sit up by itself. That's how it's supposed to be. I told them, that's how it's supposed to do. It needs to stand up by itself without me in the shit. So I would never have to hold the gown up. It would have been up by itself. And I would have been able to move my legs without having to pick the gown up to move. Girl, how many um, red bottoms you got now? Sweetie. Let's not talk about those things. I don't know. I don't count. Girl, just be buying stuff. And I can get some more. You don't need no more. I do. That's never enough. Girl. Where your daughter at? Who, Bruce? Uh-huh. Somewhere, motherfucking trying to trick some young girl. Y'all want me to duck walk? Yeah, you got a dip. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, so you hand stoned that? I did not know you hand stoned that. Yes. Oh, that's hand stoned. Look, you don't see all that? Sweetie, if you look That's at my lot. stories on my page, you can see I did all that work. Girl, what the thing about it is, though, all them stones probably cost a lot. Girl, I hate stone and stuff. Baby. So you got a stone machine? Yes, I got a several things. Some of the stuff that y'all be getting made in ballroom, those machines that y'all get y'all stuff made on from my people, sweetie, that's my machine. <laughs> But I let I let y'all girls get y'all shit done. I got embroidery machines, sewing machines. I got three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did got, I got a question though. I got a whole lot of shit. You need to can you send me that website to that um to that custom fabric place? Custom fabric place? Like what I made yeah. the outfit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't they don't do outside work for people. Girl. No, I'm telling the truth. They don't do outside people. You have to have a um you have to be a member of a certain organization to get in there. Uh, they don't need, they don't do that. I need some custom fabric. <sighs> they said, have you ever spent 1K on a wig? Um, yes, for this ball, Terrence, I spent 3,000. Terrence did me two wigs and charged me $3,000. Mm-mm. Mm, well, I'm about to go take a nap. I'm going to text you. Um, I'm still waiting for my refund from the West Ball. Oh, my God. Text James. No, I'm texting you. I'm call I'm talking to you in front of everybody. Y'all had the mother come up there, and then y'all ball gets stopped. And I couldn't get in. And I wasted a whole couture moment for no reason. That one I thought that was the Revlons that fight start fighting. Well, I better see every last one of y'all members at the Balenciaga house law. We in there. I think I'm gonna walk. You better. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna take a nap. My hair hurts. And tell the girls that they they bad. Put some money up for a face. And tell them to bring it. Well, you need to tell Smile since he and invited me to a battle. Just put up some money for it. Oh, I would love to see this battle. Mm -mm. But I'm going to text you about the look.
You Toodles. See? Also, okay. I'm going to text you about the look. Yes. All right. All right, bye. Girl, that was 20 wigs for 3K. I don't know what you're talking about, no 20 wigs. Ain't no 20 wigs. And if you can get 20 wigs for 3K, then them wigs are cheap boots. They synthetic. Uh, let's put this up. Oh my God, y'all. I will this. I will this. Now, I wore this multiple times because this is sickening. This is my fan bag. I'm just put that in the bag. I don't got time to go inside of here. The first originally wore this to Andre Leon Talley's event. A fundraiser. I still got the, um, I love these. Don't y'all love these? Mini! Mini! Yes, they are. A little red. Y'all like a little lipstick red? Oh. My Shangula. Look at Shang. Look at my Shang. I keep them in my favorite place. These are my favorite pair. The Pagal Follies are the best Louboutin shoe. The most comfortable is Louboutin shoe. Oh my God. I can dance tonight away in these. These hurt the most because they are half size too small. They're the perfect size, but they're, ooh, they're half size too small. I wore this once and then I think I put it on, I, no, I wore it twice. I wore these in Milan, Italy, and then I wore these to a birthday dinner, and I messed them up on a cobblestone, and I had to have them fix the heel. See, this is not the same as that, but you can't tell. To the naked eye, you can't tell. Very nice. You don't make jokes. I don't make jokes. What's my tips to walk around the house and practice in them? Practice makes perfect. I bought these off somebody. These are way too big. These are 42. And y'all know what I have to do to wear these? No, these are way too big. This is Marlo and Nini size. But I wanted these shoes so bad and they didn't have them. I had to put a pad here. I had to put a pad here to be able to wear it. And they still fluck off my feet. Ain't that beautiful? Pony. These are my favorite shoes. I definitely love the black. The black classic suede. Um, they got them in brown. A suede so cape is epic. Epic. 
a must have. Um, I keep these around because you know these are going to end up coming back. You know platforms are coming back in style. Y'all remember how everybody needed a trip? A e this is a, a e Laurent. A Saint Laurent. But they need to motherfucker. Because why is this turning? This is really white. So I might need to take this to a cobbler if I ever wear it again and have them paint that. So it could be stark white. It's fine. It's fine. But these right here, I still wear. These are the most comfortable boots you ever. This, this in a set. These also are, are a Issa Laurent. And I love these. These are so around the way filet type of girl with Sherling. Ain't that cute? Uh, these I can get rid of. These are the only platform shoes. I, I wore these to my 30th birthday in Vegas. And these are the only platforms I've ever bought from Louboutin. And I wore them once and never again. And I need to get rid of them. I should have put them up and sell them. Watch, and the platform's coming back, which I won't ever wear. Looky, looky. Ice skates. Skate on by. Skate on by. A weapon. Oh, not a weapon. Uh. Oh, here go my belts. I need to take these out of here. Here goes some extra fabric that I made Kalik's cat suit out of. Trash it. Trash it. How do you walk in them? It's easy, darling. Walking is half of the battle. Oh. <sighs> 
I am a shorty. I'm five six. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Uh, uh. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Uh. Yes, of course I still have my wide cell right here. Yeah, stay right there. Oh my God. I just spoke this up. I just spoke this up. Did I not? The House of West. I need my money back. I need my money back, House of West. I need my money. Mommy, my money. Look how much that shit costs. This is Alexandra McQueen. McQueen. The mother up and motherfucking McQueen. You can see. And y'all, I keep price tags and everything. <laughs> I try to keep my price tags and everything for resale value. Four I should do an episode of going in people's houses and do closet tours. Oh, the girls on the street do closet tours. Because, y'all, the girls' closets be nasty. Y'all should see my sister's closets. Baby. Baby. The girls have pieces. Everybody got pieces. We give a, it should title the black girl's closet because we are truly the fashion innovators. And remember, we know fashion. You don't got to be the most wealthiest. You ain't got to be married. It's given when you really into fashion, all that, baby, it's a lifestyle. I'm losing energy. I'm starving. Come see your closet. Who is that? in here. You want to see what's in here? Oh, it fail. It's in two pieces. 
This is from the Mugler ball. The first one. The porcelain. Yes. Ain't this cute? Didn't they do a cute little job to make two pieces? Be given so if I want to wear this, I wore this to a 70s party with a little frock and a little fur. And I had roller skates on. So I can roller skate. Look a little icy. Roller skate! <laughs> this a golf wedding gown? No. And so at the time, I was so pissed because I couldn't find any layered... Two more two. I couldn't find no gowns that had what I needed for the ball. So I created... Y'all, when I tell you, the best thing that Ralph Lauren has, Ralph Lauren has the best garment bags. <laughs> the Purple Label and Collections, baby, has the best garment bags. One of the best. McQueen used I've seen a McQueen on, on a garment bag in years. They used to have some cute ones. Everybody be playing games with these garment bags. I want some garment bags that ain't gonna rip and tear up. Whew. Whew. Ooh, y'all. Thank you. What is this? Um, this is my funeral dress. This is my funeral dress. This is Dolce and Gabbana. So you gotta know how to shop and buy stuff. Do y'all know this gown? I mean, not gown. This dress. I got this dress a couple years ago, and this dress is still being sold, still to this day, and it does not. It will not ever go on sale because it's a classic. It's a classic. It will not go on sale. What was your previous one? What do you mean? My funeral dress? Um, no. I just, this is why I walked to my, I walked to my grandfather's funeral. And then I turned around and wore it to Legendary. Because why not? And it was so funny. It was like the finale. And they tried to get me on camera to say that I was going to, um, I was going to a funeral, to the Mugler's funeral, and I went and I said, I'm going to Legendary's funeral. I threw shade to the production <laughs> and not the the, um, the ballroom people. I mean, why am I throwing shade to them for? Since people said that we look sickening, but we're shady. Uh, I'm shady to them, not y'all. Yeah. So this is a classic piece. I try to buy classic pieces. Um, try to get classic pieces. Because you can mix and match and pair them up separately. I thought you meant the designer was the black two-piece. No, I made that. The black, the two-piece, the gown, I made that. It's from my line. Everything looks good in black nearly always. Baby, okay. And we wore this on Legendary. Um, in fact, I dressed all my kids in when Honey's sister passed away. We did the uh, Barbie collection and it was my birthday. So I wanted my kids to look good. And I wanted to, I wanted to have my Beaumont RB, my, my um, Beaumont Army. I dressed them all in my Beaumont pieces, Beaumont, Beaumont pieces. And unfortunately, little secret, why 
somebody lost the button. I don't even gonna tell y'all who or how a button got lost off my my blazer. And so I went back and they was like, they can't replace the button. So you know what they did? They were so sweet. They just gave me a brand new blazer. And so ever since I got the brand new blazer, I have not worn it. Diego, no, it wasn't Diego. Trust me, if he could have got his big ass arms in my clothes, he would have. So they gave me a brand new one. And I haven't worn it. Back to the closet it goes. I banish you to the back of the closet. So this is Francisco Scamaglio. Oh my God, I love him. He was such a doll. I want to say he's one of the very few coutures in the industry that is so sweet. And I love a person. When I say anytime I can hit him out, he is so sweet. He responds. So, Francisco, I love you. I love you. Mother loves you. Um, and, he told, and the secret. He told me whenever I want something, he would do it for me. I love the word discount. <laughs> oh, this is Erdom. Oh, I love this. I love this. I wear this always. I'm I always wear this. I'm gonna fuck one. I'm gonna always wear this. This shit is sick new. It's just just so flowy. So like, oh my god. Oh. I love it. Ugh. What is this? Oh my God, I wore this. I remember this. I wore this to New York. I was photographed with this with the only American couturier, Ralph Ricci. Zach Posen. Any Dennis Basso pieces? No, I don't have no Dennis Basso pieces. If Dennis will give me some, I sure will take it and wear it. Oh my God, where my Bluetooth? Oh. If Dennis will give it to me, I sure will wear it. Soon I will. Mm -hmm. 